morning. Morning. How are you feeling today? Sleepy. Look at this shirt, guys. This is the one of the usual official Gen Con shirts. It's got like a, a gamer sigil on it or something. Shield? Seal. Seal? Because we're getting awful close to everybody arriving in Indy. Uh -huh. <laughs> and now we're out of a frame and you know, mm -hmm. he's in charge of doing Gen Con. <laughs> Some of it. Uh, making Gen Con fun for all of us. So mm -hmm. how's it going? Is Gen Con going to be awesome this year? Of course. Everyone's going to show up and they're all going to game. It's going to be great. So, everything's going good? You're okay? Yeah. I mean, there's still lots of last minute stuff. Lots of people whose plans change, so their events have to get cancelled or something like that. Which is always a shame, but there's only so much that can be done about it. It's good to know that um, you, you went through all late events. Like, all of the major things, uh -huh. all of the major things are done. Like, all the, like things that needed to really be done are done and now you're just dealing with like all the hundreds and thousands of tiny things that are left to do. Sure. For a, for a Gen Con employee, what does the Tuesday before Gen Con actually look like? Uh, well, it depends on where you're working, but for me, Tuesday before Gen Con is a whole lot of meetings with hotels to go over the floor plan, or go over the space orders to make sure the rooms are set up the way they're supposed to be. Um, and checking emails and trying to answer people's questions about them needing to cancel events last minute. What about, there's like a volunteer thing and a production thing? Yeah, there's like an all hands meeting in the evening. We have a production meeting in the middle of every day. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. We're going for breakfast. Um, my hair is a mess. Um, it's 8.30ish right now, so the plan for me is to get some breakfast and then go back up to the room and relax a little more before my friends arrive. My hair is just like, all the humidity is just messed up, so we're gonna see what we can do. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. Hi, David. How are you? This is breakfast. Fine. What are your plans today, David? Um, I have nothing. I'm going back and going to sleep after this. Hey, that's what I just told my blockers too. I was like, there's no point. There's nothing nine, happening yet. I have a 9 a.m. meeting at Embassy. I have a 10 a.m. meeting at the Western. And I'm going to grab my computer from my room in the Western and go over to GMHQ and work on some stuff. I was just asking Chat uh, Derek mm -hmm. what Gen Con looks like for Gen Con employee uh, on the Tuesday. And I, I was just asking Derek what Gen Con looks like for Gen Con employee on the Tuesday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think your day is probably very similar to Derek's. Um, well, we don't. We have more hotel meetings on this Tuesday than we normally do. We normally spread them out a little more over Monday. Yeah, right. That's what I figured. Yeah. Well, so normally I would do a little more walking around today to make sure things are set up as they're supposed to um, mm. and sometimes today like in the afternoon like maybe two to three it's like I can go a little slower and relax yeah. you know, but I don't but that's not gonna happen yeah um, and it may be that tomorrow I, I need to check my you're on go time now as opposed to just starting really hardcore tomorrow yeah and I mean I've got a meeting at 9 it's 8 40 I have time to eat breakfast who's your meeting fine. with Pardon? who's your what hotel embassy just just there mm -hmm. I can see it so I can get there in like five minutes seven thank you I eat a lot sure no I hope all your stuff goes well I should be fine I mean Derek's done a lot of it it's a good city if you see Marianne at Gen Con, you should take her hand because she works very hard on events at Gen Con. So, I, you know, you should I, I do say hi me. and you should bring nice things to her, like candy and presents. But if it's anything bad, like a complaint, Marianne has nothing to do with Gen Con. There's no point. No, I'm sure I fucked some things up. Oh, can I say that on your blog? Oh, blood? damn. I sure I've messed some things up. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do the best I can. Fix some post, yeah. Do the best I can. and. Uh, yeah, it's just great that we have so many people that want to run awesome events at the show. Yep. Thanks for helping out. helping those people do that. Absolutely. You're very welcome. Just had 
a nap and it is 11 in the morning and Suwara is here. I'm still a total mess. Look at me, like I'm not even, I'm not even remotely like ready to be facing the public world. So we're we'll gonna see Suwara. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna have a day. Hi. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Hi. No, I guess we're coming in the elevator. Yeah, you, you, you dropped the thing. I just woke up. Look. Ooh, and it's so, real purple. There's also purple. <laughs> Can you push? Yes. It? Nope, that's my Starbucks card. <laughs> Floor sure. 14, please. All right. Hi, Simona. Hi. It's nice to see I you. Just woke up. It does look a little sexy, I have to say. <laughs> it is a unicorn mobile phone ring holder. Which is perfect. And Did you see the phone case I have right now? It's just one of those easy ones, so <sighs> that's good. Did I tell you one time at work? So I work at a. Uh, I used to work at a game store, Mox Sporting House. You should go. Yes, I've been. And uh, you've been? Yeah, the last time I was at you in did. Seattle. You should come visit again. I played some Because I forgot about that. Um, but some of our shelves are up really high, so mm -hmm. we've got this like 10 foot. It's not like it's like a rolling staircase. <laughs> so I was listening to music because we were we weren't open yet. So I climbed up to the top and I managed to like do something like this and like <laughs> slingshot my phone. It like rotated a few times and I oh. slung shot from fifteen feet like oh, at the ground and just shattered. Oh, not so good. So that not happens so about once a month to me. Oh well, hopefully so, your little. Oh your my little... god, what? <laughs> So I thought are, this was candy. No, they're not candy. <laughs> Don't eat them. <laughs> no, they're 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 not gonna digest for you to So what? there's something very special about the D6, and oh. I think that they are they're. I saw them. Too. They're individually wrapped, which makes them well, extra Well, let's leave the D6 to last. But um, look at this. It looks like um. They match. What what do you call petrol in this country? Uh, oil or o like oil? oil slip yeah. Color? Yeah, 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 whoa. And cool. I wonder how they do that. Yeah, okay, I'm going to look at the D6 last because you said it was sexy. I, think it, I thought it was fun anyway. So I saw it and I was like, oh. Look at this. Yes. yes. Uh, there's a little joystick. Okay. You can oh, use I see. to. Pan yeah, pan. yeah. So if you want to, you can do that. Yeah. And then the other trick do. is if you double tap the, the on off button. Okay. Uh, hey, yeah. So That's you straighten right. it back out. Just okay. if you ever want to do that. What's with the, what's the deal with the sixy? So so the the it should the six should be fine. The it's the D six. That's the D twenty. Excuse me. Oh, the D twenty. Yeah, that's the D twenty. That's fun. Oh, I see something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's show the camera. Yeah. I don't okay. want this video to get demonetized because I make so much money off these. <laughs> I think they sent me a check for 12 cents once. Oh, fun. In well, the last like, know, five that's, years. That's that's 12 cents. It says, that's right. Can you see it? Uh, there it goes. It's a book. <laughs> <laughs> is it the 20? No, it's the one. It is the one. Okay, so good. I was like. <laughs> if you get a natural one, <laughs> that's oh, what man. most people say. I didn't so, bring dice this year. Ah, uh, well, good. You have and I'm playing games. in a role playing game, so. No, Thank you, Suwada. Anytime. <laughs> Thank you. 
escaped. The babe with the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Voodoo? Do what? No. Voodoo. Mm. Oh, very voodoo. close. Very close. You do the power of the babe. Yay, we did it! <laughs> How can people get one of these? You can get those available at the Stink Meet and Greet, which is tomorrow, Wednesday at... Five? Yeah, sure. Five, yes. It starts at five, and it is uh, at Union Station. If they are out at the our table, you can go to the website, worldgamer, worldgamers.org, and download it from our from there. Okay, let's have a look, because I want to show you guys my favorite one. Okay, so this design is very special, because it is this year's uh, design on the t-shirt, right? Uh, yeah. Um, and also, we had like a, an artist come up with, we gave him some direction, but he custom designed this whole thing for us. Yes. And we created an uh, we made it into a coloring book page, which is really cool. How can people get a t-shirt? A uh, t-shirt, they can go to... Same website? The same website. The store is not currently up, but it will be up right after Gen Con. Okay, so like or next week. Or if not sooner, if I can put the link up. Before. Sure, yeah. But there's some really cool art in this coloring book, which you can download and print. And color. How did you source all this art? I approached uh, some of my favorite artists through the D and D Fantasy Artists uh, Forum on Facebook. You skipped me. And that's through... okay. I like this one a whole lot because she's got ears, and I like furries now. I guess. <laughs> I put that on the internet, and then is this my favorite one? No. This was a T-shirt from that was a t -shirt another year. Designed for a couple years ago. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Gotta have those. This one. Look at her. Look at this. <laughs> oh, she's cool. And at okay. the back of the coming book Timon's is the full list and links of all the artists that. Oh, awesome! Volunteer. Show them some love if you like any of these artists. My one fell apart a little bit. Yeah, we just have to restate. Look at this goddamn thing. That's so cute. The That's a beefy horse. Man, and that is also a that is also a t-shirt. Dang, yeah. you should put the year on these so I know. Yep. Hey, there we are. And there's a list of all the artists yeah, and their websites. That's really awesome. Yeah. In heaven, there's a lot of pictures of boobs. I bet there is. Uh, in heaven, there's a lot of the entire Mormon Tabernacle <laughs> Choir. In heaven, there's a lot of Dave Bowie flying on a tiger. That one wins. Flying on a tiger made of lightning. Why people like... Having big dreams, but no realistic way to achieve them. Oh so man, true. that's so a little too White true. people like an icy hand job from an Edmonton hooker. <laughs> Wait for this one. <laughs> white people like white privilege. Damn straight. <laughs> <they do. laughs> that one wins.
Hey Desmond. Yes. What uh, what drink did you order, and what food did you order, and how did you like those things? I don't know the drink name because it is a non-alcoholic drink that they think they custom made. Can you describe it? It is very creamy. Uh, definitely with coconut and the pineapple, um, and a lot of other like kind of berry fruits. It's very smooth, uh, has a kind of a milky texture, but it's really, really nice. What about your food? What did you get? I got a pineapple fried rice. This is really good. This is amazing. How would you, what, what is this? I can bring you another one. And what else is in here? Oh, it's an uh, egg. Um, there's some chunks of pineapple, uh, red onions, uh, pork, and yeah, pork spam. And uh, it's scallions. Like it's just the spam. The meat is five out of five? Spam. Definitely five out of five. Uh -huh. Is there hey, a Matt. fried plantain chip? Yo. What, what is your drink? What, what is this? It is blue awesome. Ooh. Blue awesome? <laughs> no, it's the, uh, the wizard. The wizard? And what, Shiny uh, wizard is like. what's the taste like? What's the, what's the verdict? Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> what it about? Tastes, it's a very sweet. It's almost like a, a blueberry kind of sweetness yeah. to it. But a very strong aftertaste of rum and... Uh, Alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> what food did you order and how do you like it? Uh, it was a meatloaf dish. I can't, I can't remember how to pre uh, pronounce it. It's sure. a slider, a meatloaf slider. Um, With like a banana ketchup though, right? Yeah, banana ketchup in it. And uh, looks to be uh, fried onions on top. Uh, it's very rich. The sauce has a little bit of kick to it. Must be a Caribbean thing. The, uh, the meatloaf has a little bit of kick to it. Uh, the sauce gives it a nice little sweetness and I would recommend it. What a oh, what's your drink? Really got? I've had like two dishes. What's your drink? Um, oh, my drink is the uh, decoy. And the how do you like decoy. it? What? What? How would you describe it? Was very it? good pepper mousse, so very, very tart flavor. Um, the lovely grapefruit and gin made it work very well. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of ice. I'd say yeah. it's a little, maybe too much ice. Too much so ice. Just too much ice. But these not enough are fire. Really, not enough fire. Yes. These flowers are very lovely. So presentation, definitely a nine. Strength of the drink, definitely. An eight. No, eight out of five, pretty good. Yeah. I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 five, man. That's the alcoholic. Um, what food dishes okay. did you order? You had two, so, right? So yeah, so we got the jerk chicken uh, sliders, amazing, very spicy, like an initial. Ah, oh, interesting. What? How was your sliders and or what was the other thing? Jerk chicken. You said it was so, spicy. Yeah, a little bit. A little spicy. Um, the initial kick was very strong. Like two and a half minutes later, it is very tasty. So much they did an amazing, amazing. What was the other thing? Um, we also mm. got um, mm. fried mm. plantain mm. fritters mm. with some verde sauce. That's a little bit of bite. Very not tasty. Much, um, a bit. Is the verde sauce spicy? No, not really. Not okay. at all. Very common. So it's a familiar heat. And we also is, yeah. got uh, pork skewers, which are also take sesame. Ben, uh, what you got? What's your drink? Mm -hmm. My drink is the Dr. Funk. It's something yeah. which yeah. Has a, I don't remember it's, all of the ingredients, but it has lime, one of those pomegranate, smell, rum, yeah. and the heat off of it. Yeah. There may or may not be a fifth ingredient that I can remember. <laughs> but I've had most of it at this you point, so that has a little bit of. It Which was quite tasty, uh, a little strong, so definitely the rum in there. Uh -huh. And um, definitely presentation, it definitely has some nice flowers in it, yes. so I'll go for that. What about your food? What you got? Apparently, I ordered the same thing as Desmond. Oh, do you so have the same review? It's wonderful. This is the um, the fried rice, which I've had a decent amount of at this yeah. point, and um, it's rather tasty. Uh, I like all the ingredients, so it works out well for me. Nice, thank you. Sandor, mm. you got a flaming something drink, right? Um, flaming with a fire dancer? Yes. Did you like it? Oh, it's beautiful. It tastes Perfect. really good. It tastes really good. What food did you order? Uh, jerk chicken. What was it called? It was uh, Jamaican jerk chicken wings. Uh, wings? Yeah. Barbecue wings. Out of ten, how many how many points? Uh, yeah, as far as wings go, oh. as a sampler, it's like awesome. Out of, out of ten, I'd say probably give about a nine. I think it's nice. flavor of the wings. Like isn't too fatty. Isn't too dry. Just right. Well cooked. Isn't too spicy. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good barbecue without getting too over the top. Thank you. Hey, Stuart. Mm -hmm. Now that you have something in front of you, what is it? It's the Moco Loco. Loco Moco? Loco Moco. How do you like it? Moco Moco Loco, I don't know. Those little Mexico Loco. Um, it's good. It's like, like uh, Matt's sliders, the meatloaf has got a 
kick to it, like maybe maybe habaneros. Uh -huh. So it's it's a slow build heat. Sure. How but much it, it definitely you, sits with you. Out of ten, how many points? How many on the heat? No, on that dish overall. Well, the dish overall, if so far it's, it's really good, so I'd give it like a good solid 7 or 8. Thank you. Same here. Enjoy your food, everybody. Yeah, really. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man, there's too many of us. <laughs> I had a good day. We did, Sawada got here, Desmond got here, Sander Stewart and Matt got here. That was great. Um, we had the great um, annual, high, what is it, air hockey championship as usual. And I believe, they say it's a tie, but I believe I won, which is the first time against the Canadian. The thing, tracker thing was broken, so it wasn't tracking our score and it was giving points to one team regardless of who scored but i still think i won because i'm the best and then we did or annual glow in the dark is it mini golf or crazy golf mini golf, mini golf tournament uh, which i was slap bang in the middle and uh, matt and stuart tied for first place and that was good and then we played some games. We played Cards Against Humanity and um, Shipwreck Arcana today. And then we went to that tiki bar in front of room that you just saw. So we had a really good day. It is now midnight. i got to edit this video and get it out. So it'll probably be like, uh, well, I want to say one, but it'll be like two by the time I get to bed and sleep. And then um, got to be up. And at the Steak and Shake at 8.30 tomorrow morning because we're going to get breakfast. Wednesdays are always kind of the same for us. So we get breakfast at the Steak and Shake in the morning. Then we go to the farmer's market. And on the way back from the farmer's market, we always hit up Rocket Fizz in the comic book store. This time I also want to check out the museum and the memorial. And then after that, we do something. And we usually go to the Stink. Right before the Stink, I have my event. Um, and if you're not aware, David and I are uh, running a seminar together twice this Gen Con. They're already sold out, but maybe for next year. They're called Gen Con 101. And uh, we essentially go through like all the things that you should know if you're coming to Gen Con, like how to get a badge, how to get tickets, types of tickets, what to do, where to go. <coughs> so that's from 4 to 5, and this thing starts at 5. And then I think we're getting dinner with some friends right after that. Um, tomorrow's a fairly busy day and uh, my lack of sleep starts after tonight. I mean, it starts early tomorrow, so looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, gonna get editing and hopefully knock this video out in record time. That is my ultimate goal right now, is to just get it done, uploaded and ready to go in 48 minutes.